sunny and we're at the beach. This is Jacksonville Beach. We've seen cops at every corner. A lot of places are boarded up. This is a mandatory um, evacuation. And this though. area is mandatory evacuation. So uh, everything is boarded up. There are a lot less people here. And the cops and community officers are watching everybody. And uh, right now, we're about to cross A1A, which is the scenic route that runs up and down Florida's coast. There is a construction site. Looks like they took down all the cranes and everything. It looks really nice here at the moment. And as you see, there are a lot of people coming down here like us to check it out. So they have the red flags out to warn people about the surf. And they've even built like a little sand barricade there to That's stop the water version. from from going through. And some stores are still open. That restaurant has people in it. Uh, so it's like 50-50 with the amount of places that are boarded up. This is a nice venue where they have concerts and outdoor activities and the sand dunes are right there and the ocean's on the other side. And so I'm not seeing a lot of places boarded up. Which is really surprising for being down at the beach. That place is boarded up. And some of the hotels are boarded up. We just noticed the Best Westerns boarded up. And you think the street that runs right beside the ocean would all be boarded up. That place is pretty closed down. Surfers, lots of surfers. They could probably get in trouble, but they don't care because they can catch the waves of a lifetime. Not what you expected for a mandatory evacuation, huh? No. And we got a crane right there, which is just very bizarre. But we're gonna park here and check it out. We're gonna check it out. So we're here reporting from Jacksonville Beach along with several news companies and national companies as well. I think uh, the only one we really witnessed was Reuters, right? as far as national level. But it's so nice out here today. The Jacksonville here, and as you can see, the water is extremely rough. And the surfers are putting on a show. Why is it getting the water? How cool is the water? Malia is so happy. She thinks she's going in the water, so she's gonna get really angry when she finds out she's not going in. Oh my God, there's so many out there. There's like, I don't know, 20, 30 surfers out there. Malia, are you inspired by all the crazy surfers? <laughs> huh? You get to go to the Euro event next week. Hopefully it won't be this crazy out here, but you would love that, wouldn't you? <laughs> she lives for this stuff right here. This is her next big thing. <laughs> yeah, you tell them. You love it. Are you gonna go in the water? What about you? You love it too? You want to go surfing? Yeah. Surf up, dude. Oh, he's a smart guy. <laughs> if we were to let go of Malia right now, she would just run in that water. No, no fear whatsoever. Or a sense of danger. Or a sense of danger. She would go catch those waves. She'd steal one of their surfboards, and she'd be out. Did you see how? Here goes this guy. He's going out. He's going out to test them out. We're missing about half of this beach right now, I think. About half of it's already gone. This is what we do in Florida for hurricanes right here, folks. Get your board and go out on the water. Even though there's red flags saying no swimming and beach rescues out here watching, but they're not stopping them from going in the water. I don't know if legally they can or not stop them. Look at those waves smashed up here, look at that. They're already smashed in the bottom of that pier. And that pier is usually a lot higher than, than that. All right, so we're now underneath the pier here. And um, Leah's doing great. She's gonna be angry here when she finds out that she's not going in the water. But right now she's really happy. The beach is already starting to show erosion. So here we go, we already got one injury here from people going in the water. We didn't realize a rescue was going on over here as we were standing on the other side of the pier over there. So here's beach rescue. 
they are helping this person out. I'm sure they hurt their leg probably. are coming up. The beach is going to disappear soon. Malia's loving it. I wish you could go in the water, but it's really unsafe. Even the surfers are getting messed up. It's too dangerous. People are getting hurt. Okay, we'll come back, I promise. She's gonna get really upset now because we're walking away from the beach. And the whole time she's been here, which has been maybe about a half hour, she thinks she might have been going in the water, but she's not gonna be able to. So as soon as I walk towards that ramp right there, which they blocked again with sand, uh, she's gonna get really upset with me. You can see the look in her eyes already. She knows we're about to walk away and she's getting really angry. Isaac, come on, buddy. We're gonna leave. Come on. Say bye, Beach. Bye, bye Beach. All right, you ready to climb the sand mountain? That girl at the end with the camera, did you hear what she said? He said something to her that kind of insulted her, not by on purpose. She's professional from Reuters. Like, national. So believe it or not, I forgot my sunglasses in the car. Didn't think I'd need them during a hurricane, right? Right, dude? But I know, but I needed them. So uh, we just got to see a professional photographer. Nationwide people are down here right now trying to document. Oh, here's some news. CBS 47, Fox 30. We were just watching those guys this morning. So I said $5,000 earlier. Those guys right there have probably, I'm gonna guess and say $30,000 camera. I don't know. Yeah. This business is right on the water and we actually like eating here when we did and we found out they're closing because they're going to be building a hotel so we're kind of bummed out about that but maybe they didn't board up because they don't plan on being here long so who knows but i mean it's wide open no sand big but they didn't play around over here the wreck tiki bar and lounge didn't want to get wrecked so they boarded up really good Saturday. They'll be reopening Saturday. Oh, see? That's awesome. Here's a crazy guy. Right there. Oh, yep, I see him. Looks like he had some fun today, that. They just recycled their plywood from Irma, and it says, Irma, go home, you drunk. Irma and Harvey can't stop. Jax and Houston. Go Jags. <laughs> I love how they actually put some comedy into it. This is the right still. Yep, because it's a lot of work. And they're losing a lot of money. And the storm's probably not hitting. So it was all for nothing. But if they didn't do it, Dorian would have been like, you're not taking me serious, are you? <laughs> it's still hitting, it's not as strong. I know, it's only gonna be tropical winds down here probably. Yeah, and it's still pretty hot out here. I don't think it's above 90 though. It's definitely cooler. It's the humidity from all the storms. Yeah, and we haven't been in any rain out here. So as we're walking around, enjoying ourselves, it's all sunny and palm trees. Let me show you on the radar how close this hurricane is. 
not sure if you can see it, but um, it's right there on the screen where the blue dot and the hurricane's right there. So it's just uh, surprising. They kind of make them out to be a lot scarier than they are, guys. It's Storm Point Search and Rescue Disaster Relief. And so he's doing his job here. Look at that. That's really cool. No, no. That truck is set up. We'll have to look up that company later, Storm Point. Unmanned aircraft system. I bet it's some kind of uh, drone. drone stuff to watch for things. Although drones wouldn't really be able to fly in this weather, I don't think. Wendy. Yeah. The news is doing an interview here. We got firstcoastnews.com on this little van, and we'll try to catch this later. What is it, CBS 47? Watch out, hurry up. So we got First Coast ABC News, and then we got CBS 47 over there. They're all competing for coverage. And we got some of the best coverage. It's so hard to believe that a hurricane just down the road an hour or so. so this is the St. John's River in downtown Jacksonville and hoping it doesn't rise above the uh, the walls here. It doesn't look like it's any higher. Give me your hand, buddy. I wonder if it's raining or not. We'll see. It almost looks higher than we are. It is higher than we are. And that's why it's coming down in. <laughs> Hold on. I'll see if it's possible to get through. <laughs> we made it past the, uh, the flooding here. That looks like fun. Right. Oh yes, that's true. The water's higher than normal here. This little land area goes in the water and it's coming down through. Sorry, right, Isaac, come on, buddy. Malia, what'd you think of that journey? My mom's hand, Isaac, your strength. My mom's dog, yeah, what's the dog you say? Malia, you did a good job with those dogs. Good job, high five, high five. Good job. I know. All right, from here you can see the water level really well. It's not too high yet. We're uh, downtown Jacksonville. We're on the uh, western shoreline. The Jaguars football stadium is over there, and one of the major bridges is over there. And then it looks like even the buildings on that side. Maxwell Coffee House, one of the oldest factories in the country, is right over there. And it doesn't look like anything's boarded up downtown here. I'd say it's maybe about 15 miles in from the ocean, maybe a little bit further. So I don't think there's any need to worry here. No, there's no weather. I can't believe the weather is so nice. <laughs> yeah, if you were to see this video, you'd never know, right? Today is Tuesday and it's about seven o'clock at night down here. And it just looks like an awesome evening, but you can tell there's a lot more people out than normal doing the same thing we're doing. Leah and I are just enjoying our walk here back down the river walk, right? Say hello. Say hello. hi. And uh, it's really sunny out here, right, so. Be careful, baby. And I lost my sunglasses in the hurricane, just kidding. I don't know where they are though. And uh, we gotta go back past the Weather Channel people. So maybe we'll see you guys all on the Weather Channel. Uh, and we're gonna get prepared for it tomorrow. Maybe we'll have power, maybe we won't. Who knows? Dorian's coming to visit us tomorrow, guys. We've been waiting a long time. Forever. <laughs> to meet him. We yes. have never met him before. Nope, never he met him. And I keep and think, be on his way. And I keep thinking he's a girl. <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna swirl me right up into the clouds. <laughs> 
None of these buildings are boarded up, so I don't think they're too worried. Look at all that glass. We just discovered the Weather Channel here. They're getting ready to do a national broadcast. How cool is that? There they go. So what we're looking at is a broadcast behind the scenes of the Weather Channel. I'll zoom in a little more so you can see it. But they're getting ready to do a, uh, I suppose, a live broadcast here. We're gonna be on the Weather Channel. No way! Woo -hoo. Isaac, tell Daddy what the puppy did. What the puppy do, Isaac? So he gave me kisses. What did he do? Pets, watches. He gave you kisses. Puppy High five. Kisses. You got puppy kisses, that's so cool. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> All right, so we're on the coast here. What I consider like Millionaire's Row. And it doesn't look like they really care about boarding up for some reason. And, and their backyards are, are literally the ocean. Right there. Maybe they're just boarding up the back of the houses that face the ocean, possibly. That looks like a, a Little Mermaid's place. Yeah, it does. I know. I recommend Oh, there we go. They boarded up the doors there. And had ramps of some sort. The palm trees are starting to wiggle a little bit. Over here, guys, could be really dangerous because it's oceanfront property and it's under construction. There's a castle back there. That's really cool. It looks like a real castle, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. All right, so we're basically in St. Augustine Beach. Uh, we're still on that little strip of land. And you can see some water bands for the hurricane activity right there coming in at us. And what's really unique about this area is everything that they built is extremely close to the water. So the beach is right there, and the beach is practically gone. So as soon as the storm gets closer, it's gonna come right up here and start eating away at the dunes where all these houses sit. If you look over there, you can see that that house over there is even closer to the water. So it's kind of crazy. So we're getting some very strong on wind shores right now as this band is moving in. It's actually uh, hitting us pretty roughly right now. This one's right above our head. Feel the strong wind from it. So yeah, if you look here, you can see how close the ocean is to this business right here. The hurricane's right over there. St. Augustine on your right, and then over on your left is the Atlantic Ocean and the St. Augustine Lighthouse. And then we're coming down into the city of St. Augustine right now. All right, so we're in historic St. Augustine. It looks like um, a lot of stuff is boarded up here. Right there's a Ripley's, believe it or not, museum. It appears that everything is completely evacuated except this couple walking down the street. And then over here on the left, we're coming up on waterfront, Matanzas Bay. There's the city gate right there. A lot of people still in the streets. That's the Castillo de San Marco. That's a very old fort. And then look at these people. They are just hanging out. Party. Partying. That's a hurricane party right there. We have ABC Action News. They're taking action for you. The bay doesn't look too choppy yet. However, in the last hurricane that came through, which I believe was Irma, um, these streets right here were all flooded. This whole entire street 
all of these businesses. If you look there, they built a barricade for the water. Stop it from coming through. And right over here on the left is the Bridge of Lions. We're not gonna cross it because we don't know if they're gonna close the street. There's another cop because he's and waiting And St. Augustine, uh, yep, another police officer right there. And the lights are flashing, all the stoplights on the main street to get people out. Um, it definitely looks like they're taking it more serious down here because they're further south than us. Yeah. On a normal day here, there'd be people walking all over the place. The street would be full of cars yeah, people. and people. And now it's pretty desolate down here in St. Augustine. Yeah, right here, we got some more news people doing St. George Street because it's completely dead. Wow, last time it was shoulder to yeah. shoulder people. So this is definitely worth the trip down here. All right, so we're coming up on St. George Street. It's a major pedestrian cross street here in St. Augustine. At this point, it takes usually about five minutes to get through here because of all the pedestrians. And I don't see any. There it is to the left. Right over there is one of our favorite pizza shops. Grandma loves it. It's called Pizzelli's. It's closed. Everything's boarded up here to the right. Everything is boarded up. Well, not much boarding. So Grandma, if you're watching and you can hear this, Pizzelli's is closed. We're very sorry about that. And boarded up. At least they'll be safe, hopefully. Right. At least all the pizza dough won't float away. Nope. And I hope all the stuff stays historic. Right. That's true. This is the oldest city in the country. Yep. I would say Crucial Coffee here on the corner is boarded up but in fact it's all one big board so technically it's not boarded up oh tree in the road oh tree in the road better swerve let's oh, check out that horse where right there oh wow whatever it's really cool